August 6th, 2023, Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up and the ancient one took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. A surge, a surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory, this is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John, and led them up a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them, and then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. 
And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. The Feast Day of the Transfiguration The Transfiguration of Christ is the culminating point of his public life, as his baptism is its starting point, and his ascension its end. Moreover, this glorious event has been related in detail by St. Matthew 17,1-6, St. Mark 9,1-8, and St. Luke 9,28-36, while St. Peter, 2 Peter 1 verses 16-18, and St. John 1.14, two of the privileged witnesses, make allusion to it. About a week after his sojourn in Caesarea Philippi, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them to a high mountain apart, where he was transfigured before their ravished eyes. St. Matthew and St. Mark express this phenomenon by the word metamorpho, which the Vulgate renders transfiguratus est. The synoptics explain the true meaning of the word by adding his face did shine as the sun, and his garments became white as snow, according to the Vulgate, or as light, according to the Greek text. This dazzling brightness, which emanated from his whole body, was produced by an interior shining of his divinity. False Judaism had rejected the meshes, and now true Judaism, represented by Moses and Elias, the Law and the Prophets, recognized and adored him, while for the second time God the Father proclaimed him his only begotten and well-loved Son. By this glorious manifestation, the Divine Master, who had just foretold his passion to the Apostles, Matthew 16 verse 21, and who spoke with Moses and Elias of the trials which awaited him at Jerusalem, strengthened the faith of his three friends and prepared them for the terrible struggle of which they were to be witnesses in Gethsemane. By giving them a foretaste of the glory and heavenly delights to which we attain by suffering. The Feast of the Transfiguration was adopted into the Roman Rite from the Byzantine in the reign of Pope Calixtus III, 1455-58, in thanksgiving for the Christian victory against the Turks at the Siege of Belgrade on August 6, 1456. Coming only three years after the fall of Constantinople, this victory signaled an important halt to the Turkish invasion of Europe. In fact, the common custom of ringing church bells at noon began as a reminder to pray for the defense of this bulwark of Christendom. Novena to our Transfigured Lord Day 1. Today is a joyful day. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below. Our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise immortal Godhead, one and three, O, oh, grant us endless length of days, in our true native land with thee. Amen. 2. Invocation of the Holy Spirit, or Come Holy Spirit Song Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. 3. Words of Wisdom Slash Reflection Slash Homiletic Services One day Jesus left Nazareth, his hometown, 
and lived in Capernaum. During that time it was a big city, not distant from Nazareth. The decision entailed a gesture of farewell to his mother and his town mates. Everyone making a decision must say goodbye and give up something. A vocation of service always signifies some form of sacrifices. It is the price of the kingdom of God. Mary, our mother, like her son was growing in her faith, her understanding of Jesus' vocation and her acceptance of the mission God destined for her son. For her, this process means uncertainties, sufferings, fears, and anxieties just as for many mothers who share with their son's commitment to fight for justice on the risks of their lives. 4. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud, grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son, help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Amen. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, o'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally. Be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen. To be followed by the Holy Mass. Day 2, My Own Transfiguration. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below. Our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply thy strength bestow to thy great name be endless praise immortal godhead one and three O oh, grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee amen invocation of the holy spirit or come holy spirit song come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Words of wisdom slash reflection slash homiletic services. Sometimes during the intense moments of our lives, 
we ask ourselves, in a very special way, what we ought to do, what our vocation and responsibility is. These are moments when we are touched by the pain of injustice around us, and with our strength, we share something in the hope that the things may change. This is the time when we experience the presence of God who leads us toward the future full of hope. This is the moment when God speaks to us and we become so enlightened as to understand the meaning. This is how Jesus felt when he was transfigured in the mountain of Tabor. Prayer God, you have scattered the darkness with your light and have poured your light into our hearts so that we might look upon the radiant face of Jesus Christ. Nursing in us the desires to contemplate your beloved Son. Amen. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud. Grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come again, to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son. Help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Amen. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, o'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally, be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen to be followed by the Holy Mass. Day 3, Way of Witnessing to the Resurrection 1. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below. Our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise immortal Godhead, one and three, O, oh, grant us endless length of days, in our true native land with thee. Amen. 2. Invocation of the Holy Spirit, or Come Holy Spirit Song Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. 3. Words of Wisdom slash Reflection slash Homiletic Services 
The transfiguration was necessary to help the apostles increase their faith and recognize the divinity of Jesus, his union with the Father and the Spirit as well as with the prophets of the Old Testament. Maybe there is another kind of transfiguration that is needed for us so that, like the apostles, when the vision was over, we may be able to look up and see no none, but only Jesus. The transfiguration to which we refer is the indwelling of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the Word, in our neighbor as well as in us. The kind of transfiguration will enable us to see the common things of earth, sky, and sea with a new wonder and fresh joy. It will also enable us to see the presence of Jesus within ourselves and in the people who cross our path, even if they drive us crazy. We may think that such an attitude is too difficult to acquire, but it is something that we can continuously ask for and desire. Prayer O oh God, according to your plan, you have called us to holiness by your grace which you have revealed in Jesus Christ. Through your gospel show us the way, so we could share in your mission of glorious splendor of unending life. Amen. 4. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud, grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son. Help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum. Amen. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, o'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally, be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen. To be followed by the Holy Mass. Day 4, Experiencing God's Presence in Our Lives, The Joy of Having Christ. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below. Our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise immortal Godhead, one and three, O, oh, grant us endless length of days, in our true native land with thee. Amen. 2. Invocation of the Holy Spirit, or Come Holy Spirit Song Come Holy Spirit, 
Fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 3. Words of Wisdom slash Reflection slash Homiletic Services in the Transfiguration episode, we can see just how much Peter lived his calling with enthusiasm and with a sense of responsibility. Master, it is wonderful for us to be here, so let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Here we see Peter in all his generosity. At this moment, he feels at the height of his power and ability. He is growing in awareness of his responsibility, the weight he carries on his shoulders. Prayer loving Father, you have so loved us that we have been called to be sons of God, when Christ comes grant us that we may be like him. Amen. 4. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud, Grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come again, to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son. Help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Amen. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, o'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally. Be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen. To be followed by the Holy Mass. Day 5, Transfiguration and Agony. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below. Our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise immortal Godhead, one and three, O, oh, grant us endless length of days, in our true native land with thee. Amen. 2. Invocation of the Holy Spirit, or Come Holy Spirit Song Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. 
and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 3. Words of Wisdom slash Reflection slash Homiletic Services the Transfiguration anticipates the Paschal Mystery, which begins with the cross. Jesus can attain his permanent glory in his resurrection. But first, he must die on the cross. Transfiguration appears as a preparation and strengthening for the disciples to face the coming passion and death of Jesus, when his glory seems most unseen. It was given to the disciples to prepare them for the tragedy of the cross. Prayer O Christ, before your passion and death you revealed the resurrection to your disciple on Mount Tabor. We pray for your church, which labors amid the cares and anxieties of this world, that in its trials it may always be transfigured by the joy of your victory. Amen. 4. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud. Grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets, and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son, help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Amen down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, o'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally, be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen. To be followed by the Holy Mass. Day 6, Our Mission as Disciples of Jesus. 1. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below, our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise immortal Godhead, one and three, O, oh, grant us endless length of days, in our true native land with thee. Amen. 2. Invocation of the Holy Spirit, or Come Holy Spirit Psalm. Come Holy Spirit. Fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created. 
and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Three words of wisdom slash reflection slash homiletic services. The value of the vision and the accompanying glory is its gift of equipping us for service and endurance. No one can stay on the mountaintop of Tabor forever, for there are responsibilities in the valley. Christ fulfilled his life's work, not in the glory, but in the valley, and it was there he was truly and completely the Messiah. Prayer O oh Christ, you took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. We pray for our Pope and bishops that they may inspire in your people the hope of being transfigured at the last day. Amen. 4. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud. Grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come again, to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son. Help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Amen. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, o'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally, be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen to be followed by the Holy Mass. Day 7, Transfiguration and Resurrection 1. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below, our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise immortal Godhead, one and three, O, oh, grant us endless length of days, in our true native land with thee. Amen. 2. Invocation of the Holy Spirit, or Come Holy Spirit Song Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, 
Grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise, and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. 3. Words of Wisdom slash Reflection slash Homiletic Services Without the risen Christ, transfiguration has no meaning. It would appear to be just futile show without a happy ending. But the resurrection confirms the glory that was shown during the transfiguration and which rightly belongs to Jesus. The glory will be manifested eventually in his second coming for the last judgment. Prayer O Christ, you gave light to the world when the glory of the Creator arose over you. We pray for the men and women of good will that they walk in your light. Amen. 4. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud. Grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son. Help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Amen. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, o'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally. Be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen. To be followed by the Holy Mass. Day 8, Revelation of Jesus to the Three. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below. Our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise immortal Godhead, one and three. O grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee. Amen. 2. Invocation of the Holy Spirit or come Holy Spirit song. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. 
3. Worth of Wisdom slash Reflection slash Homiletic Services The Transfiguration of the Lord is one shining moment in the life of the Apostles that prepares them for the trials ahead. Peter, James, and John experience the glory in the Mountain of Transfiguration. This is a foretaste of the glory that will be theirs in the Father's Kingdom and it will let them see them through the terrible days when Jesus undergoes his passion and death, and when they themselves are persecuted in his name. Prayer O Christ, upon the mountaintop, you let the light of your face shine over Moses and Elijah. We ask your blessing upon your people who call on your name, who want to belong to the kingdom of light and life. Amen. 4. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud. Grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son. Help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Amen. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, o'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally. Be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen. To be followed by the Holy Mass. Day 9, Transfiguration and the Blessed Trinity. 1. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to all below. Our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise immortal Godhead, one and three. O grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee. Amen. Invocation of the Holy Spirit or come Holy Spirit song. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh, God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. 3. Worth of Wisdom slash Reflection slash Homiletic Services 
The event of the Transfiguration marks a decisive moment in the ministry of Jesus. A revelatory event which prefigures the glory of the resurrection, it was given to the disciples to prepare them for the tragedy of the cross. The resurrection of Jesus is the epiphany of the Trinity. The Father raises Jesus from the dead and the first gift of the glorification is the sending of the Holy Spirit. Prayer O Christ, you will reform our lowly body and make it like your glorious one. We pray for our brothers and sisters who have died that they may share your glory forever. Amen. 4. Prayer Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud. Grant that we may listen in faith to have a love for the word of Christ. Amen. 5. Profession of Faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come again, to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 6. Concluding Prayer God, our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets and by showing to us the splendor of your beloved Son. Help us to become heirs to the eternal life with him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 7. Benediction Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Amen Down in adoration falling, lo! The sacred host we hail. Lo! O'er ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high. With the Spirit blessed proceeding forth from each eternally. Be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen. To be followed by the Holy Mass, 